What's up, everybody? Welcome back to TSJ YouTube channel. This is the first ever episode in the uh, new kind of series that I, I'd like to have. It's a TSJ uh, roundtable discussion where I talk with some uh, VIPs, if you will, in the TSJ Discord. So I'm joined here with Total Spits and Punisher. I'm trash. <laughs> and... <laughs> And um, so we actually, this is really the second attempt around. We did one I'm nervous. like. I need to pee. Yeah, you can go pee. <laughs> we did Just one pee. earlier, um, uh, like last year, late last year, and it was awesome. And then, of course, my audio fudged out. So this is the second time around, but we're all set to go. Um, we hope you guys like this show. If you do end up uh, enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get updates on all the new content. Just like it. Yes, let's hit this 20 is, likes. This is what I'd say, round two. Round two. Right. <laughs> round two, round two. Was that your joke, using Rome two? Round two, Rome two. What? Let's do no. this. Now we need a Rome... no pun intended. We need no. a Rome three. Wanna... We need Rome three. No, we don't. We need Medieval three. Speaking, all right, so speaking of a new, speaking of a new, if you will, game, let's talk about that Total War Elysium closed beta. That's going on right well, now. <clears throat> if you don't know what that is, it's a it's a free to play strategy card game that brings generals from across history together to go head to head in epic showdown, as epic as you can get a card game. So, what do you guys think about that? Stupid. You don't like it? Absolutely stupid. It literally sounds like what's that? What's that? F***ing, is it Hearthstone? Hearthstone for um. No, no, no. I'm thinking of The Witcher, Gwent. No, 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 no. It's so it's. It's kind of like a card game. It's like you're taking Yu-Gi-Oh and taking Pokemon and shit, and I can't remember what it's called. It's like it's like Hearthstone or something. So whatever they f throw in the comments at me, f you guys. But <laughs> it's literally called that. But what happens is that it's what it sounds like. Is that they're just taking these generals with f traits or something, and then they're f playing it. It's is it kind of like that, like that type of card game? I is what you're saying? I've seen a couple. A couple gameplay videos on YouTube with with CA Creative Assembly showing it off, and pretty much it's kind of like that. It's it's like Hearthstone essentially, and it's free to play. And it says in terms of when the game will launch, they don't have a release date yet. This honestly could be like a Total War Arena. Which did any of you ever play Total, Total War, Arena? War Arena? Is was so good, and then they started to add the free to play, instead not free to play the pay to play. Shit. And it just ruined it because let's be honest, war gaming and gold are mother and father banging. It's literally that. It's so stupid <laughs> because any well, everyone will just fucking pay their gold, get destroy everyone else, and think they're good, but they're just trash. Is that what I didn't even know they added in that gold point? Oh well, yeah, no, they, you had those freaking premium freaking ve like pre mm. like premium vehicles. It's those premium units that always kicked everyone's ass. So they're gonna end plant the same. I don't know, what, do you think it's alright, Punisher? Yeah, no, not really. Uh, well, I like car games, but I don't know if that's a good idea to make a Total War car game, because we all know that uh, Total War is basically just a turn-based strategy game with the action and battle stuff. I mean, if you want to create a car game, that's, that's, I mean, that could be fine, but I just don't see the purpose of why they should change the the different game type like a, a game why do you should make a game changer for the yes. war so you like so you like how they have that you think they should just kind of stick with the same formula yeah, i think exactly. we can all probably agree, agree they should just stick yeah. with the same formula yeah. so don't branch out it's not gonna be successful oh yeah it talks about it actually how you guys mentioned it, it says however the games level ups will reward you with uh gate oh boy you will gain battle packs am this goal oh my god it's call of duty <laughs> it's the same exact jesus thing. it's like ea f met activision for a couple uh, f weeks i don't Stop know please pay, no please one pay, likes battle packs please They're pay stupid. 60 dollars to get this awesome huge general with a powerful deck and that's what you're gonna do you pick this general you get like a nice even though it's free to general. play even though it's free to play. That's like high most Napoleon free, for 30 most of, bucks. Most of a free to play, it's pay to win. Exactly. It's that's pay what to win. Pay to play, play to win. That's the word I was looking for. Pay to win. Um, yeah, it's just it's just going to be like that. It's it's stupid. They don't need to use it. 
Just stick I with what they have I haven't and give seen me better any content. Other, I haven't seen any... Yeah, well, exactly. I haven't seen any other Total War uh, YouTubers, like, any of, any of this on their content at all. Like, PA, Jackie Fish, I haven't seen any of them... Um, I think it's just, I think it's just been the creative creative assembly total war YouTube channel that showcased it. It's too risky to show this new content. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would... most people kind of like agree with like you and Punisher saying maybe just stick to better content. Medieval mm. three, give us medieval three. Believe in your server. <laughs> Believe in your uh, WW. Oh, rip, rip. But speaking of a uh, speaking of a new game. The next game coming out, which we touched on a lot last time, last year when we did this, the first time around. Um, Total War Troy is coming out, supposedly, I guess in the fall, I'm thinking of this year, which I don't know if this virus now is going to mess that up. I could see it going either way, Um, but I don't know. Is that good? Is it cool? It's going to be part of the Saga franchise of games. So, so with Saga... Their first attempt to produce a saga was their... Thrones of uh, Britannia. Yeah, Thrones of Britannia. And at first, it was going well, and I think it got a lot of negative content, like a, not a, like negative reviews, and then it started to bounce back. So I'm hoping they can take from what they learned, especially with their uh, the saga games, and implement what we wanted and make it better. Right. But it feel I don't know why, it just feels like uh assassin's creed they're doing valhalla now but they just did i think what is it the greek one so it's like it feels like the total wars Uh, are like right yeah odyssey they're like trying to like bounce between like each other like the next one's uh the vikings of valhalla we just did that with thrones of britannia and now we're doing a troy game and they're coming out and they just and they had before a uh odyssey so it's like they're trading. So each what other. you're saying is they're following Ubisoft. They're yeah, it just <laughs> it's like mm, we gotta come up with something that's gonna get content. Like I think I think Troy is a good is a good place to like have, but the thing is, is trying to implement it because it's I it's very much about the gods. It's about that. Even if you yeah. watch the beginning video and stuff of it, like the announcement trailer and mm-hmm. all that type of thing, it's gonna have to implement so much i hope i just really hope is that the in-game combat system for it is going to be cinematic you zoom in you watch the combat fighting off of walls that's what i want to see out of this more than anything is if they can take what they did for britannia's uh combat system like in real time and having good like sword combat fighting styles see a little bit of uh the movie um, Troy with Achilles and how they do the heroes and shit. See, that's what I thought, <clears throat> like you're saying, Thrones of Britannia did really well. Like, there definitely was a lack of, um, I'm trying to think, there was there was, there was was definitely something lacking with the game, but what I think what the game got really right really well was the fighting, I guess you could say. The combat was just really, really fun. Punisher, I don't know if you, I don't know if you have Thrones of Britannia, if you've watched videos on it, but the combat... Uh, is. I just see Britannia some gameplays. Yeah. yeah, I mean it, it's awesome, and like the shield walls. I mean, I know right now, honestly, like I'm a part of those Facebook groups yeah. of Total Step. War and whatnot. And with the Last Kingdom season four that just came out, it was all like, "Hey, I'm getting back into Thrones of Britannia." So it definitely has that. Like, if you're interested in that era, it's gonna be really fun. But also, like Spitz, like you said, how it. Troy will probably have that element of fantasy. I'm probably in the minority here when it comes mean, to that, but like, you mean like they're gonna um, three kingdoms? Y- yeah, that's yeah, what it's I, gonna implement. Yeah. That's what they're gonna have to do mm-hmm. is for th- like they did with three kingdoms is have the realism in the fantasy version. Yeah, which because there's no real records. Exactly. Like there's only well, it's even like that with Vikings. You know, like they say, you know, Ragnar Lothbrok and stuff. There's records. I'm putting in quotes records, but there's not any his you know what i mean like there's re- there's enough records where they all say similar things so they're like okay the guy was probably real but you know we're not going to say 100% just like with troy you know and there's even less evidence for troy than there was for ragnar yeah. lothbrok you're going to have to come up with your heroes and stuff and mm-hmm. you know they're going to probably base it off of the movie a little oh, bit oh definitely you know they're going to take a yeah. little bit like they're going to you know they're going to i think it was the actor Brad Pitt yeah 
<laughs> yeah, you know they're gonna probably make his face look like Brad. Give Pitt. us Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah, let's be honest. Those locks, Mwah. right? Uh, yeah. They're gonna have to look. They're gonna probably use that. Hopefully, they use the Odyssey for it. Maybe we'll even see parts of Odyssey. Um, oh, with definitely. the main character Odysseus and all that type of thing and go off of that. I don't know. I think that the Trojan War, I think, lasted like 10 years, 11 yeah, years. Yeah, it did, yeah. That's it. That's all you have for content, really, is just that Trojan War. So I don't know how they're going to – how big of this game is really going to be. I mean, if well, you... they, already, they already showed the campaign map, so – Yeah, and it looks beautiful, but again, you know – how big. story how good how big is the story gonna be how much are you gonna be able to do you mm -hmm. know that's i guess my concern <laughs> obviously i'm very negative like i'm looking forward to playing it listen but your story is simple you either defend troy or you get troy because some sh because the chick went away to get to troy because she fell in love and the artist said well orlando bloom. Fell in love with orlando <laughs> bloom helen of troy yeah helen, helen, helen of, of troy and that was Helen of Sparta, boy. Sorry, Helen of Sparta. Jeez. Yeah, the most beautiful, yeah. Triggered. Uh. Absolutely triggered. <gasps> Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Well, I think bottom, I mean, it definitely ultimately, I hope it's a good game. I'm honestly not expecting it to be, which they know, you know, they'll say it's this isn't our next huge title, historical title, but I'm keeping my standards a little low. So I'm gonna be like, okay, like you're saying, there might not be that much content there, but it's a fun little game, like Thrones of Britannia. But it's it's to keep the Total War people satisfied mm -hmm. for the next big release, which historical release, because they're coming out with Warhammer Three, probably next year. <laughs> yeah, that's that has, but you know what? That's giving them a ton of money. So you know, the next big historical title, which Three Kingdoms if, did really well in terms of money. If it if it's not Medieval Three, I don't want it. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I honestly give, don't know what they're gonna do. Give me medieval three or give me muskets. <laughs> muskets. They already have muskets. Yeah, they have they, empire and they have fucking. They have they have shogun empire and Napoleon. Napoleon. Yeah. I rather them make like an empire too. Everybody. That's like everybody wants an empire two or a medieval three. Yeah. It's either because those are your two big part, big parts of history, and they're actually weren't that topic. bad. That's what people want to see. They say, they honestly, I've seen people talk about it. They don't care if it's a straight reskin of Medieval Two. Just give us. I mean, when I say reskin, I mean give us the diplomacy from Three Kingdoms, right? Because if you played Three Kingdoms, I don't know if either of you have. It's nope. It's like the diplomacy. I'll say this is. I mean, it's like anything you anything you want to do, you can imagine doing anything. You can pretty much do. It puts the diplomacy of Rome to, and Napoleon and Attila to shame. There's so much you can do there. I really hope they don't, you know, roll back on that for the next big historical title. And then you know what? That's it. There you go. I, I, cash grab, right there. Yes. Yeah, Good cash. I grab. think I think with Medieval Three, if they really want to make it really well, is giving the ability to mod because that's what destroyed attila was the ability the how hard it was with their engine to mod okay yeah the, re the reason why the medieval 2 is even still used is it's because the of the capability to mod it and you're looking at third age for the lord of the rings you're looking at like a what different type game of thrones game of thrones that's a big one like if it doesn't crash huh? <laughs> um, yeah but <laughs> 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 but yeah no it's just like the people modded it and set it up and stuff because you can edit the map and ma manipulate that manipulate that so if they're able to do something then shit go right ahead but yeah no i think that's probably what everyone's looking forward to either a gun one or the medieval one it would really help their sales if they made it you know allowed you to maneuver you know the the map around because like i know the rise of mordor mod for attila's out in you can play the campaign for that right now but it's it's just europe it's not like middle earth and i just i'm sure i'd have fun with it but it's just not a, it, you know it kind of takes you out of it yeah that's I'm why like, most people played uh medieval twelve twelve or whatever yeah exactly that's the closest thing you're gonna get to an overhaul 
That's the closest thing yeah. you're going to get to Medieval 3. Yeah, that's the only thing you have right now. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, here's a good one. Um. Recently, this past month, I believe, yep, it was the in April, um, CA gave away Shogun 2 for free. As in, you can, not a free to play for a weekend, like, here it is, download it, keep it, it's yours. What do you guys think? I mean, was that a, I honestly, it just kind of came out of nowhere. It was big news. I actually saw a lot of Total War YouTubers talking about to- that. Of the Total Wars they picked, they had to pick that one. Why not that one? I don't know. It just seems like that one <laughs> like, has like, you, what don't, are you, talking see, about? you don't see a lot of it. It's like, honestly, it's kind of dead. And obviously, that's why they brought it back. That's why. That's why they did it, so they can revive that's it back. Why they brought it. Maybe they could like, bring. Like it wasn't that good of a game, Jesus. Well, what are you talking about? It, it, Shogun Two. Shogun Two has an excellent gameplay. Everybody likes it a lot. It's nah. in terms of AI. I yeah. mean, in terms of its AI, its AI is really good, which is why everybody was so. Up- that's that's why everyone was so upset with Rome too. One of the big reasons, because they were like, yeah, all right, the, the, the scenario's cool, the history's cool, we liked Rome 1, Shogun 2 was good, the AI was solid. You know, if you didn't like Shogun 2's, you know, timeline, well, that's a thing, no, that's just different. But in terms of the game itself, it was a pretty solid game, and then Rome 2 came out and just hit a brick wall. But Yeah, we're going to run into line like we did back in fucking Rome 1. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I think there's, like, elements of truth to, you know, because Punisher, I agree with you, the game's great, but also, just based off of my videos, and I don't have a whole lot to go off of because I'm a pretty small YouTuber in that sense, but even looking at the big YouTubers who host and show Shogun 2 videos, they just don't do as well. And I don't think it's because people don't don't think Shogun 2's a good game. I just, for some reason... And I don't know why. I don't it know. Seems like they just bow and arrows maybe... win. That's it. The <laughs> archers win. Maybe they just don't like uh, Shogun era. I don't know. I don't like it. They like yeah. Anyway, I just I think it's similar to the Three Kingdoms. I don't know what it is about that that era of history or something. I don't know. I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just saying I don't know. It seems like a lot of people don't find that like my all of my videos when compared to Rome to Attila. When I when and compared to my Three Kingdoms and Shogun Two videos, they just don't do as well. It's the same exact stuff like Let's Plays or huge battles. It's like my ones for Attila, Rome Two, Medieval Two. They do way better than Shogun Two, and the AI in Shogun Two is so good. Spitz is clearly not a yeah, I don't know. Shogun Two fan, nope. but either way, you know. It's it. At least it's nice that they do that kind of stuff every now and then. It was. It, I liked it in the beginning, and then. But I also was like 13, 14 when it came out. I'm fucking 21 years old. I can delete everyone in that game. What? I can just just buy. I'll just buy like half. Just get half archers and just delete anyone because the archers in that game are ridiculous. I mean, that's kind of the power. No one's thing got a shield. It. Yeah, that that's the thing though. That's one of the things I like about that game. Like you're saying, the archers. Because when you and here's the thing with Medieval Two, when you, and I get it, it's like it's an older game, but man, when archers fire in Shogun Two, you like feel, you feel the arrow, like hitting someone, you know. I know it sounds weird, but they're powerful, they're OP. Whereas in Medieval Two, they're just not. You, you just see the archers going and they just like disappear, like zzz zzz zzz. Z- okay, well, great. Where'd they go? But in Shogun Two, man, they stick there, and it just feels like you're saying you get a whole army of them. That's it. That's what I'm saying. It just delete us. Yeah. Anyway, um, well, I think I think that's it, guys. In terms of the topics we have, we didn't have as much to talk about this time um, as last time. Can anyone else think of anything else they want to add? Um, watch his Co Two. <laughs> it's nothing to do with Total War. Just watch his Co Two <laughs> content. Yeah, I'm we, in it. Yeah, we just started doing. And hey, I actually found out Punisher also has Come to Heroes too. Oh, but he's probably bad at it. We can help him be good. Can I can annihilate him like I always do with everyone. We won't. We'll be on his team. Uh, sure. Sure. Um, yeah. Check out Company Heroes Two content. Just started posting those again. Um, and also follow me on my Instagram too. Uh, I'll link that in the first comment. I'm pushing that hard right now. But um, guys, as always, let us know what you thought of this roundtable discussion in the comments below. Should we do more of these? Yeah. I'd like to. I like having these discussion 
um, videos a lot because I like to talk with you guys down in the comments below. Um, but everyone, thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay super, and I'll see you guys next time.